You know, as a missionary, our hearts are for the cry of the poor. We never want to come to any village and come too late to save a child. It's been a heartbreaking thing to arrive in a village and know that you've come too late. And it's that place in my heart that it always grabs to have a, a nine-year-old boy tell you that he's ready to go be with the Lord because he can't take the suffering. We're willing to go to the mountains. We're willing to go through the rivers. We're willing to risk our lives and we will do everything we can if you will send us and you'll help the children that these moms need to bring to the clinic. We've seen death stare us into the face. Please do what you can do right now. Let God speak to your heart and give so that children will live. We're here in the village of Leyton. It's late in the afternoon, and Kaylee and I are just walking around, kind of visiting the families, and we have a team with us today. And uh, we just come across a guy who is a young man, and somebody hit him in the eye with a rock yesterday. Yeah. It's horribly swollen, needs stitches, you know, but he was just sitting there, not making any attempt to go to a, a doctor or a clinic or anything, and Kaylee really looks bad. I don't think he's gonna be able to keep his eye. We always pray that we don't come too late to help somebody. So we pray that we're in time to help this man and maybe other children in the village. It's okay, let's go this way. Wow. You know, maybe we came in time. I hope we did. Yeah, we hope we did. We're gonna get him over to our clinic though so our doctors can look at him. But a lot of times we're not near our clinic. So we just had to do the best that we can. But, but we always pray that we can come in time to help somebody. This mother has um, had this child by cesarean. The baby was born premature. She's already had two children by cesarean and lost the first two. And if you could see the look on her face, it's, um, it just it breaks my heart as a mother. So in Haiti, you know, the more children that they have, the better the chances they have that somebody will grow up to take care of them. And so she's already lost the first two children. So she was, she was probably hoping that this would be her miracle baby. And she, in the previous interview, she said she doesn't want to have any more children. And so I think that she's lost, I think that she's lost hope. And that to me was why I wanted to pray for her and the dad, because they have to have hope. Good girl, good girl. So she's just coughing up some sputum, which in her age group is really unusual because most kids can't cough that up. So that means she's got her lungs are really full of infection. This isn't vomit, this is mucus. There are literally thousands of malnourished babies and starving children who live in Haiti. Babies and children who if not helped will join the hundreds who are dying daily. Lack of food, clean water, and medical care mean children under the age of five are at the highest risk. Love a Child medical teams are reaching out to these children who have nothing and are giving them hope, hope to survive, hope to live, and hope to have a better life. Love a Child clinics provide assistance to these impoverished children who have never seen a doctor or received medical care. We need your help now. 
$50 sponsors 50 children to visit the medical clinic. $100 sponsors 100 children, and $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. You may also provide a family with a complete package of medicine for $20. Will you hear the cry of the poor now and allow your heart to be touched? Remember, $50 sponsors 50 children to visit the clinic. $100 sponsors 100 children, and $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. You may also supply a complete family pack of medication that these poor families can take home for only $20. Please call the number on your screen now or write today and say, I want to help the hurting children of Haiti. Three and a half years old, and the father has just walked up the mountain with this baby, and she's had a bad fever for 15 days, but she's also got an ear infection. She's also severely chest infection. Chest infection, and I see pus coming out of her ear too. Glenda, so what do you see so far? I see this little baby has got a nasty perforated eardrum. She's got swelling over her sinus on her face. She's got um, the insides of her nose is all, um, it, it's bloody, but it's also excoriated and swollen and inflamed. She's got blistered all over her mouth and her, her mouth is so dry, it's hard for her to open it. She's got no tonsil problems, which is good, but she's got a significant heart murmur and the beat has become irregular. Her liver's enlarged, uh, just from a, a very gentle feel. She's very wet, she's passing urine as well, and she's older than that, and so my worry would be she's also got a urine infection as well. Good girl, good girl. So she's just coughing up some sputum, which in her age group is really unusual because most kids can't cough that up, so that means she's got her lungs are really full of infection. This isn't vomit, this is mucus, an infection, the same as we'd normally spit out as an adult, oh like God. if she came into my clinic, I'd evac her, I'd be calling a plane. Oh yeah. And I've got nurses, I've got everything I need and I would still be sending her. Thank God we were here today. There's still hope for this little girl, but if we had not been here today, uh, she would die. And she's she's still very close to it right now. But yeah. so that means that we have to get her help immediately. If we but weren't here, she, she, she wouldn't absolutely. have the options that no. she has today. No. So we just ask you right now if you can help us in any way with our clinics, with medical uh, needs, with medicine, if you want to give an offering, help with any way, emergency care, whatever, please do so. But more than that, we need prayer. We need miracles every day. The title of this little short little five minute message is, for all of us, don't pass by the other side. It's easy when you see someone who is sick or wounded or have a need, just pass by on the other side. Bonsoir. Comment y est? Et fait du les pieds bon? Hein? Les pieds bon? Les gratte? Oui, je vais couvrir mon hôpital de Madame Maria. Mais moi, je ne peux pas me faire pour gratte. So many people in life, they just pass by on the other side. Such a powerful thought God gave us. And then the Samaritan came down, who wasn't even a Hebrew. He wasn't even a Jew. He was a Gentile. And this man was beat up, was a Hebrew. What did the Bible say? Did the Bible say he passed by the other side? No, the Bible says when he seen that man, he had compassion on him. When we help the poor, when we give to God, we give out of the compassion of Christ. This is why we do it. And I know that's why everybody's here, because you're given out of your compassion, your compassion of Christ, which is in your heart, or you would never be here. And you're here because you did not pass by the other side. 
you had compassion, and you made a difference. So now God's gonna bless you, just like this morning, Psalms 41, one verse two and three, now these blessings are gonna come on you. So don't pass by on the other side. You can help us sponsor a whole mobile clinic. This is not even a mobile clinic today. We just came into this village and you can already see what's happening. But for $50, you could sponsor 50 children to come to a big mobile clinic. I mean, all kinds of medicines and doctors and nurses and, you know, all the medicines that they need. Or for, a, or for $100, you could sponsor 100 children to come to our mobile clinics. And any amount, a gift of any amount would help us. Haley's cleaning up a really bad infected room right now, but please, your gift of any amount will help. And these children are in such bad need. And all through the mountains of Haiti, and in the garbage dumps, and in Sapate, where the kids are there sitting in the dirt making mud cookies. All over Haiti, children are in need to come to our mobile clinics. We take the clinic to them. These people don't even leave their village. They, they're afraid to leave their village, and they don't want to leave their village. We bring the medicine to them, and you can help us do that. The numbers are on the screen. There's going to be a toll-free number right there that you can call, but we don't want to come to any village too late. We've done that before. It's been a heartbreaking thing to arrive in a village and know that you've come too late. But please, your gift right now of any amount, the widow's might will help. Please give today and help us save a life. You are the Good Samaritan right there from your living room. You can get up right now. We're going to put the address on the screen for you. If you're a little older, it takes you a while to get that pen and paper in your hand. We're going to wait. We're going to keep the address up on the screen. It's Love a Child's address. You can send your check there, or you can go to the internet. You can go online. There's so many ways to give. But please, get up and make that call right now. Thank you, and God bless you from Haiti. We help the poor when we give to God we give out of the compassion of Christ. This is why we do it. Now these blessings are gonna come on you. Hello there, I'm Kaylee Fletcher. I'm a Love a Child missionary. Um, I'm here today working in our mobile clinic. This is where we prepare all of our medications to take up to the regions beyond. We go high into the interior, high up in the mountains, and we do mobile clinics. So here today, this is where we prepare everything. Um, I have Madame Jezula here. She works in here full time during the week. So she hand labels each medication, hand counts each pill that's in these bags. So right here is vitamins. Um, we take these up to the mountains and we give them a 90 day supply. You know, I'm 23 years old. I never thought I would be living in Haiti. I never thought I would be on the mission field. People say, oh, you give up so much, but I don't feel like I do. I feel like I could be doing more. I feel like there should be more people here. And if I could do one thing, if I could go to the States and do one thing, it would be to recruit the young generation, to pull you guys in and see what I see. It, it's a different feeling. And I never thought I would have this feeling in my heart. I never thought that God was gonna call me to the mission field. So, you know, when I go back to the States and I want to drive through and get a Starbucks, I always think about the people here. So, you can do the same. I mean, Chick-fil-A, whatever it is, Taco Bell, Starbucks, whatever you love, donate one, one time, just give what you, the amount that you would go through, Starbucks or Chick-fil-A, give that amount to the poor. Give it to the poor, just one time. I just thank you today for all of you who have came out to support us and who support us stateside. You know, we could never do this without you. God bless you. Just a little grain. I'm so sick, Madam Sherry. Just give me a little grain. Just a little, little something, Sherry. I can't go home like this. She killed me. She's crying. She says, if you just have a little bit to give me, please give me something. Can you believe this? I've never, I mean, I've, I've, I planned on four times as much medicine for this clinic as I did for the last clinic. Four times as much. 
four times as much is not enough. It was so sad. I just couldn't even stand. Sometimes I, I can't talk to them. I can't look at them. After 25 years, you'd think I've been used to this, but I can't stand it. Someone has twenty dollars. You know, do they do they take their you know sick children to the hospital, or do they save that and use it for food? You know, and it's like, you know, to be able to do this for free, to give medicine to a whole entire family, to you know, check them out, make sure that they're okay. Um, you know, it, it, it's something that they are very grateful for. You know, because it's a free deal that they can just come and show up, and just out of out of God's love, they can get free medicine. You know, and they don't have to worry about paying anything or making a decision, do I take them to the hospital, do I eat, what do I do? You know, not only are they getting the medical attention, not only are they getting food, uh, not only are they getting beautiful churches and schools built to where they can be taught, uh, you know, they're getting, most importantly, uh, a spiritual uh, feeding. You know, they're, they're, they're learning about Jesus uh, and for, you know, witch doctors who would have nothing to do with Christ beforehand, are, they're lifting their hands, praising Him. I mean, that is what it's all about, you know, reaching, reaching uh, the regions and beyond. You know, that, that's what it's about, you know, and, uh, you know, they're definitely doing it here. There are literally thousands of malnourished babies and starving children who live in Haiti. Babies and children who, if not helped, will join the hundreds who are dying daily. Lack of food, clean water, and medical care mean children under the age of five are at the highest risk. Love a Child medical teams are reaching out to these children who have nothing and are giving them hope, hope to survive, hope to live, and hope to have a better life. Love a Child clinics provide assistance to these impoverished children who have never seen a doctor or received medical care. We need your help now. $50 sponsors 50 children to visit the medical clinic. $100 sponsors 100 children. And $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. You may also provide a family with a complete package of medicine for $20. Will you hear the cry of the poor now and allow your heart to be touched? Remember, $50 sponsors 50 children to visit the clinic, $100 sponsors 100 children, and $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. You may also supply a complete family pack of medication that these poor families can take home for only $20. Please call the number on your screen now or write today and say, I want to help the hurting children of Haiti. Our brand new book is being released, Love is Something You Do. You know, it's all about Haiti and the adventures of Haiti. Uh, Sharon and I as missionaries living in Haiti, and all about the children who steals your heart. But it's also about our earlier days in America. And one of the stories in the book is about when I first learned to fly an airplane. The first hour when I got my license, Mr. Faith going to ride. He didn't know I just got my license. And we hit a bad weather. And, oh, he, he thought we was going to crash. And he was married and he was holy. But all of a sudden, he started confessing his sins. I told him, I turned around and said, brother, tell God everything. Well, if you want to know the rest of the story, request the book, Love is Something You Do. For your free copy of Bobby and Sherry Burnett's new book, Love is Something You Do, simply give your gift of any amount and request the book. Call the number on your screen, write to the address, or go to the website and give your gift now. Remember, to receive your free copy of Bobby and Sherry's new book, Love is Something You Do, simply give your gift of any amount and request the book. This is only for fungus. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, you don't have any um, cotton. I don't have any cotton. It's no. okay. I use my finger. I know. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, um, so we're here in the village and we're just trying to treat a few children, a few people. I, you know, had a guy that had a rock hit him right here. We've got to go because the lady has burned her bottom and charcoal and 
looks like third degree burns. But you know, when I was here, I just stopped to think of a young man named Mackinson. I was in, the, in a very remote village called Latibonit Lester. It's a place where we have a school. And a woman came to Bobby and I. We weren't having a mobile clinic or anything. She said, please come and just see my son, he's sick. He was more than sick. I could smell death before I got to him. He was sitting outside on a chair and he had a towel wrapped over his head and I could smell something rotten. And when I lifted up the towel, his whole neck was a big cancer, a huge cancer. Now, I'm going to take this, this cloth off of him and you will be in for the shock of your life and then I'm going to tell you what, what his story is. So, this is his problem right here. This, it looks to me, it looks to me like a cancer, but I'm not sure. And uh, Mitchavin, it's this, this, this growth on his neck smells so bad. I'm sitting right next to him right now. I can hardly breathe. He's got it all covered up. His mother has uh, three children. And the story about him is that when she saw this growth small, she did have a little bit of money and she took him to a doctor. I knew he was gonna die. But I, but I said, okay, we're gonna try to help him. I said, we're gonna go make hospital arrangements and we're gonna be back in three days. But before I left, I prayed with him. I said, you know, honey, I said, if this cancer doesn't go and God doesn't heal you, do you wanna make heaven your home? And he prayed the prayer with me and I left the village. We came back three days later. Mackinson was already buried. He died in just that short piece. You know, we came too late for him. I asked his mom, why didn't you take him to a doctor? She said it was always a choice between food and taking him to the doctor. We came too late for that little boy. If we would have caught it a long time ago, I don't believe he would have died. And you know, there's so many cases like that that we feel sometimes like we come too late. You know, Jesus is always on time, but he wants to use you and I to do what we can as quickly as we can to save as many lives as we can. God bless you. Thank you for hearing that cry today. Oui, mais qui suit, c'est que il pas ouais là-dedans. Oui, il pas gain, pas gain garantie. Et puis ils étaient infectés. Parce yeah. Que, non seulement ils ont des fièvres. Ça, ça yeah. Fait là. Fait là, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yes. Et puis ils ont des fièvres. Et puis ils ont des fièvres. Ils ont des fièvres. Conjonctif là, ça veut dire que Dieu a toujours à baisser ses questions. Wow. Ouais, c'est l'autre éclat tout rouge. Okay. Donc ça, c'est quand il y a un peu de chance tout le cas perdu. Il y a une grande possibilité. Il faut faire une opération là-dedans. C'est une opération qui va le bail. Qui garantit bien, qui garantit pas bien. Mais pour le moment là, pas une garantie parce qu'il va là-dedans. Because he's not able to open the other eye. No. Because every time he opens this one, he has photophobia and eye pain. I'll just patch it until he can get there. So what's happening is he got a piece of sugar cane in his eye. It got really infected. It really caused him, it looks like he's going blind or he's going to lose his eye anyway. But the problem is now he's got a big infection inside. He's in a lot of pain. <laughs> Well, may God bless you. It's near the end of the day now, and it's been a, it's been a long day, and so many people, so many people have came. We're going to be coming back in the morning. Um, people have walked for miles to come here, and many more miles to come tomorrow. But before Sherry comes, we're back in the medicines, and we begin to put away the medicines and pack up for tomorrow. But here's how you can help. Forget the $50. We'll help provide 50 people or 50 children to come to the Mobile Clinic here, just like today. For a gift of $100, 
it will sponsor 100 children or 100 people to come to the mobile clinic and receive help, receive medicines, receive love, receive, receive prayer. I just feel so strong in my heart. Forget the $1,000. You can sponsor an entire two or three day mobile clinic just like this. It's a lot of work, there's a lot of love, a lot of hard labor. You work two months, you, Julie, the team, and the agent work two months before each clinic is preparing the medicines. Is that, is that right? Yes. And then for a gift of $20, sure is going to come and expand to you the family pack. You know, at the end of each mobile clinic, there are always many, many mothers who cannot come in to see the children because there are more and more and more people coming every day. So we have these family packs. And in here, I know you can't see it very well, but we have baby Tylenol, we have baby cough medicine, we have Tylenol for adults, we have uh, bandages, we have worm medicine, we have vitamins, we have bandages. It's a whole complete pharmacy, ORS, everything. It's a whole complete pharmacy for $20. You can sponsor one of these, two of these, three of these, for these moms to take back home. It's so needed. So please pray about doing something to help. So if you can give something, please, it's so important, especially to show the people that God loves them. And after they go through the clinic, every single person receives prayer and many persons' turn, lives are turned around. Your gift of 25 or 50 or whatever, or $1,000 to sponsor a clinic, it goes into saving souls and making their lives healthy. Thank you and please respond today, please. God bless you the number. The toll free number is on the screen. Call in by telephone. It will speed the process up or you may give online. It's very secure by your computer or write in the mailing address. We'll send you back a nice thank you letter with a nice picture from the day. We'll just send you back a bracelet like I wear. I was thanked for a year and a half. The orphans made it. We'll send you back a gift. Plus, some of you have already, already received our book, Love or Something You Do. We want to receive, give you another book that you can go give to someone else to $15.95 value, that you can go give someone else that book and bless them and increase their faith. Because love is something you do, and that's the name of our latest release book. But let God use you. Help save a life today in Haiti where sure and I live. We live here in Haiti. Thank Full you. Full time missionary. We Thank love you. you and God bless, God bless you. you.